Hi, Mike here. Last week, I was delivering some Excel training. I was showing the group how to set up a list for filtering, and somebody asked if it's possible to save the criteria so that you can quickly reapply it, rather than having to set up the same criteria time after time. The answer is yes, and in this video, I'll show you how to do it. Here's a list of employees. I'm going to apply a filter to the list. I only want to see the employees who are based in the UK who work in HR. So I'll click the drop down for department and select only HR. And I'll click the drop down on location and I'll select only UK. Then after I've looked at that data, I want to clear the filter. I can do that in a couple of ways, but the quickest way is to click the home tab and then click sort and filter and click clear. Then I want to apply another filter. I want to see only the employees where the location is Italy. So I'll click on the drop down arrow against location, click on select all to take the ticks out of everything and select Italy. And that shows me just the records where location is Italy. Now, suppose that getting a list of HR employees based in the UK was something I had to do every week. As it is now, I'd have to manually apply that filter again. So I'd have to select location and set that to UK only. And then I'd have to select department and set that to HR. To save time, what I can do is save the criteria and then reapply it with a couple of clicks. I'm not suggesting saving every criteria, just the ones that you might apply regularly. Before I show you how to do it, be aware that the feature used to save the filter is not compatible with tables. So if your data is already in a table, which this data is, you'll need to convert it back to a range. If I just click on the view tab, you'll see that custom views, which is the button that I want to use to save the criteria is grayed out. So I'll go to table, click on convert to range and click on yes to confirm. So this data is no longer a table. Step one is to apply the criteria in the usual way. Now that it's no longer a table, the filter drop downs have disappeared. So from the home tab, Go to sort and filter and filter, and then apply the filter that you want. So in this case, it's department was HR and location was UK. Then click on the view menu and click custom views. You can see now it's clickable. It's not grayed out. Then click on the plus sign. On Windows, the button says add, by the way. On the Mac, it's a plus sign. And assign a name to the view. You can use any name you like. I'm going to call it UKHR. The most important thing is that the checkbox that says hidden rows, columns, and filter settings is ticked. Doesn't matter too much whether you tick the print settings checkbox or not. It's the second one, the one that includes the filter settings. That's the important one and click OK. And then I'll clear the filter by clicking on home, sort and filter clear. So to apply the filter, you click on view, custom views, select the view and click show. You can create as many views as you like. Each one just needs a name. And then it's a case of just bringing up the list of views and selecting the appropriate one. You could automate it even further by creating a macro to automatically select the view that you want and assigning the macro to a button. Well, I hope you found that video useful. If you did, please give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'll catch you in the next video, but until then, have an excellent day.